Welcome to another edition of Learning the Law. I am Daniela, and I have some friends with me here who love to introduce themselves. They will discuss on the topic composure accusation of land. I'm Gabriel. And I'm Patrick. Okay. Our 1992 constitution guarantees the rights of individuals to own property. That can be found in Article 18 of our 1992 constitution. Now, when you look at Article 36 plus 7 of our 1992 constitution, it provides that the state shall guarantee the rights to own properties and then the rights of inheritance. Now, what this simply means is that every person or individual has the right to own property. And these properties can only be lost through due process of law. Now, there are several or many laws in operation that tends to interfere with the right of individuals to own property. An example of these laws are, um, an example of this law is the Local Government Authority Act. That's Act 462. Now when you look at section 52, clause 1 and 2 of this act, the act vests several powers um, in the district planning committee to check on authorized development. Unauthorized development is where a physical development has been or is being carried out without a permit or conditions incorporated in the permit does not comply with it. Now when this happens, the district planning committee writes a notice and um, write a notice to the owner of the property or the land requiring him to write back to them indicating or giving reasons why the unauthorized development should not be demolished or removed so failure to do this the district planning committee may carry on, may carry on with the removal of such development now the state also has power to compulsory acquire properties or lands from individuals but before then Let's watch this video. The demolition exercise which started last Saturday was to pave way for the dredging of the Kole Lagoon. The exercise was led by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly Tax Force with support from security services including military and police personnel. When the news team arrived at the scene at about 7.30 Sunday morning, slum dwellers were counting their losses while some were trying to salvage items trapped under the debris. Residents are up in arms against city authorities, claiming they haven't been treated fairly. You know why you're No matter where the pain will be that. Because you're you got people for now. Why do you come to Kata if you go to the water? You know, you, I know I don't be Ghanaian. Eh? But I was not be Ghanaian. So you know, why are we going to do right now? See people where they're Where are we going to sleep? Ask yourself how you go to sleep. See. If it, the loan fair, 1.5. Last, last month, 500,000. 540. Right now, yesterday, starting here, everybody go go house. 1.5. Why? Document says 1 million. Why? You have more nice. Here's the Tamale, 1.5. Why? If you want to get there, bring the gas. Everybody enter, go free. You see, there's a lot of countries having a place like this. Even California, America, every place have a place like this. And the fingers are not equal. We are not the same. If I don't have, I don't have to steal. I have to come and manage myself here. Later on, I'll find a different place and go. And you don't, you don't have right to come and demolish. We know that you are present, but you don't have to demolish people like this. Destroy every place like this. And then we don't have any place to go. Even if we are in fasting, at least... You should let us finish the fasting. In moments like these, residents would want to invoke the rights they have in the constitution. Uh, many have raised the concerns that they were not given prior notice. Others also said that indeed they haven't been provided with uh, temporary structures where they could put up and perhaps go and find permanent place of abode later. Um, how do you react to these concerns? As chief executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, I have an re equal responsibility to all the people of Accra. Last year, I mean, no, last uh, two weeks, we lost 159 souls. They had rights. You understand? The people who are living on this, what we call, uh, call it in the middle, they have rights. They have rights. The right that I have towards them is public safety. G January, I came here and I spent over four million. Ghana cities to clean the edges of the calling. That time I gave them warning. A year ago, when we had when they set the whole place here on fire, I came here with my works director and I gave them warning that they should stop and shouldn't build it. They built. You understand? 
So this is the moment I've given them. I've been in office for seven years. Of the still seven years, every day I've given them a warning. The ground on which I'm standing may look like soil, but the reality is this is an accumulation of sawdust. I'm actually standing in the middle of the Koele Lagoon, but over the years, the accumulation of sawdust has turned the whole face of the lagoon, following a demolition exercise by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Over 2,000 wooden shanks have been pulled down, and city authorities believe that this will mark a turning point in the city as far as planning is concerned. Reporting for Joy News, Ridwan Karim Dini Osman, Old Fadama, Accra. So, Patrick, what do you think about this video? Now, what you saw happen in the video is some demolition of churches at Sodom and Gomorrah, which is a slum, if okay. you know Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh -huh. Now, the government was compulsorily acquiring a land. One may ask, what is compulsory acquisition? Compulsory acquisition has to do with the permission given to the government to forcefully or compulsorily take up a land okay. from a person who has a legal title or interest in that land. Okay. But now, under Article 20 of the 1992 Constitution, mm -hmm. the government sets out condition. The Constitution sets out conditions upon which the government can compulsorily take up a land. Okay. Now, if these con conditions are not met, compulsory, acqu compulsory acquisition cannot take place. Now, one of these um, 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 requirements that need to be fulfilled is that the 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 acquisition should be in the interest of the defense, public safety, public morality, public health, town and country planning, or the proper utilization of the property for public benefit. And if you relate it to the Sodom and Gomorrah case, it has to do with public health and public morality. And if you know that place very well, the way the place is, is I mean, it's not the best in terms of health. There's so much filth there, which is not good for the health of the people. And also there's a whole lot that goes on there, okay? There's a whole lot that goes on there, which is not for the best. And also, it's in the heart of Accra. And it's also, it will also fall under city and town planning purposes. Because the government needs to clear the place for the city to look nice, okay? Mm -hmm. There are lagoons in Accra that are choked with filth, so much filth. It's because of some of these settlements. When you go to um, Circle, um, yeah, when you go to Circle, after the, the, the Dubai, mm -hmm. there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a huge gutter there, <laughs> and you can see kiosks people who have settled in kiosks along that street. And, okay. and when you look into the gutter, I mean, it's not the best. Because that place, there needs to be free flow of water. That's why there's always serious flooding in Accra. Accra. It's, such a, it's, it's because of some of these settlements. Mm. They, are actually, they were actually settling in waterways. You get it? They yeah. were actually settling in waterways. Sodom and Gomorrah was actually yeah. settling. They were settling in waterways. Mm. So the government had the right to what? Compulsory acquire that land for public safety, public health, public morality, and under city and town planning. Mm. But okay. until some conditions are met, they couldn't have done that. And I'm sure they might have given them notice. Prior they, notice. They, they might have given them prior notice. This is also done by which, the AMA. Exactly, okay. as, as he said. Which I'm not sure they had adhered to. Because their, their complaint was that, where would they go to? Mm -hmm. Now, even under Article 20, some of the condition is that if your compulsory acquisition will displace the people on that land, you need to find them a suitable place for them to be before you can even acquire that land. And I think the government provided some buses for, for the people, for them to go back to wherever they come from. They if you are from, from, yeah, if you are from the North Quarter, buses back. will be provided for you. And I think NADMO also also give them some some basic things that they need. Oh, okay. okay to, yeah, especially those who had to spend the night due to like outside due to the demolition. You get to those who didn't have anywhere to go. I think NADMO also came in. Yes. Mm, okay. So what is the second condition that must be met? Because I believe you mentioned the first one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so before the government can take over person or an individual's land mm -hmm. um, it is the, the, to chip in okay. the, the second one is that the necessity the necessity of the acquisition should be clearly stated okay. so okay. if you yeah so, so you can, you can go on okay. so go i think on. yes as i said it's supposed to be stated before the government can compulsory acquire, acquire the land 
Yes. So what, after acquiring that land, uh, the government is also expected to compensate uh, victims of such uh, incident. And then if such persons do not have uh, an other, other alternative um, to, 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 to leave, um, the government is supposed to um, resettle or reallocate them as stated under Article 20 Clause 2 of the 1992 Constitution. Okay. Yeah. yeah, now, moving on to the third reason, yeah, moving on to the third reason or condition upon which the government can compulsorily acquire land. Somebody will ask that, yeah. why are they sacking the people from there? Because they don't have anywhere else to go, it's not fair. Now, they said that the acquisition to, should justify the hardship that will be caused to the original owners of the land. But you see, I made a clear distinction that these people are not original owners of that land they are squatters who yes. they, they are squatters so they, it can be demolished and they start who oh, we don't care because my land is there or a land is there a land which does not belong to anybody in court is is um, 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 naturally vested in the government right exactly so these people are squatters but i think it's, it's for them because they've, they've stayed there you know a uh, possession does not only mean that um, you have to have control over that land. Exactly. You, can, you can be there for some time and you have, have possession, possession over that land. So now you are right. Mm -hmm. So, But now the government's acquisition to that land had to justify the hardship which would be caused to the people. And now it has to, it's being justified because their settlement is causing too much filth in that area. Okay. Public morality is being compromised on at its highest level and the level of filth there is, is, is too much. Okay. okay. And also, they are, they are settling in waterways. It's one of the reasons why the gutters and lagoons, they are being choked. And when it rains in Accra, it becomes, I mean, unbearable mm -hmm. to get it here. So I think that requirement too was met. Oh, okay. So Gabriel, what is the next um, condition that must be met before government can compulsorily acquire land? Very well. So as I earlier stated, under Article 20 Clause 2 mm -hmm. of the 1992 Constitution, the government is expected to make prompt payment of fair and adequate compensation to individuals whose land has been acquired compulsorily. So this is one of the vital requirements of government in Ghana under our constitution. Okay, so where victims feel they've not been compensated well or adequately, what can they do? Now, they have the right to seek a redress at the High Court, okay. either directly or on appeal, oh, okay. to require, to, to ask for the, 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 the required amount that is um, equivalent, uh, to, equivalent the to the land okay, okay. Yeah. and also moving on to the next ground upon which a land can be compulsorily acquired is that where the compulsory acquisition will amount to a displacement of people on that land the government needs to provide another place for those people to be where displacement means displacement means like as you saw in the video they okay. are demolishing their structures and they, they don't have, have anywhere to, to stay okay. the government will have to provide them an alternative place where they can relocate to. oh okay. Okay. okay so what happens next now where the government has been able to acquire the land compulsory mm -hmm. after meeting these requirements mm -hmm. that we've mentioned so far okay. under article 20 but still, the government was not being able or had not been able to make use of the land for the intended purpose for which they had taken the land. They will have the right under preemption to offer the land back to the original owner. And if that person is no longer interested, then they can offer it to anybody Any else. Person. But where the person is interested in his land back, they'll give him his land back and then that person to what? Return the compensation which he Definitely all the population because the government did not make use of the land. So I think that's 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 the final condition. And no, and, and also where the government has acquired the property for a specific purpose, the government must make sure that it uses that land for that sole purpose. No addition. So if you say hospital. Hospital only. Hospital. No other thing should be added, which was not clearly stated. And that's why one of the grounds is purpose must be clearly stated. stated. So if you see hospital, and you, end up, you end up adding other things. Other yes. Uh, uh, even though it might be for the 
good of the public, but that was not clearly, was stated. Not clearly stated. Okay. Okay. That was not for the intended purpose. Okay. So yes. this simply means that um, um, before governments can compulsorily acquire your land, one of the conditions is that um, governments must clearly state the purpose for which the land is being acquired. So the land should be acquired and the purpose should be in the interest of the public and not in the interest of government only. Right. Okay, I would like to chip in a little bit. Okay. So as my friend stated that when government compulsorily acquire a land, the government is expected to use the land accordingly for the purpose for which uh, the government acquired the land for. So no other additional, additional thing must be added. Yeah, so for instance, um, the government um, acquired the land for a telecommunication purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, you realize that building a, tele a telecommunication uh, project, the constructors or the workers at that place who need a building. Where tools can be kept? Exactly, okay. where tools can be kept. So. It, that is not the intended purpose, but in some circumstances, the, that structure is to serve as a store place for such equipment. So, so that would be an exception to that. So it's, it's allowable on that side. So I think that's one of the things uh, my brother stated, and it's very right. Oh, okay. So in clear terms, what we are trying to say is that where, for maybe, they want a government has compulsorily acquired the land for. Uh, power cable, underground cable, or for any project concern, uh, concerning telecommunication purposes. And the workers go ahead to construct an, uh, an apartment a or temporary a temporary one. structure with the intention that that structure will accommodate the workers and some equipment that will be brought in order to achieve the main purpose. It is allowable. What happens when the state does not um, use the land for the intended purpose? What happens? Now, the government will have to give the original owners of that land the first opportunity in acquiring the land. As in, if they want to sell the land off, they should make sure that they auction it to the original owners, owners of first. the land first. Okay. And if those people accept to buy back their land, they should bring back, back the, the compensation. compensation in full. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you, lovely viewers, for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Um, I believe individuals now will know they have rights to own properties, and the government also have rights to compulsory acquire this, these properties. Now, we will end this video here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye. Have a great time.